EGR testing. We have specific tests for Ford and Chrysler EGR testing. This is specific to General Motors. We're going to use scan data to solve EGR flow and position problems. GM uses the map signal to test the EGR. Map voltage will increase when the EGR is open. So that means we can also use map voltage to test the EGR. Step one, compare scan data to specifications. Map voltage will be higher than normal at idle if the EGR is leaking. Normal at idle indicates that the EGR is not leaking. That's a big finding. If your map voltage is normal at idle, the EGR is not leaking. That's not saying anything about excessive flow when it starts to open, but you know when the map voltage is normal at idle, the EGR is not leaking. In this example, a leaking EGR is causing map volts to be higher than normal. EGR is only one of the reasons map voltage would be higher than normal. Anything that affects manifold vacuum will affect map voltage. You can also use scan data to look at the EGR position. It should be within specifications with the key on engine off. The EGR scan data position should increase as the EGR opens. In this example of a stuck EGR at key on engine off, it's higher than normal, telling us that we have an EGR stuck open. If the EGR is leaking bad enough, it can cause a no-start condition. These are the data bits we're going to view during a test drive. Note that the EGR position voltage is within specification, and that's 7 tenths of a volt. The, de the desired EGR position is zero, and that's because it auto zero to offset that 7 tenths of a volt. A difference in desired EGR and EGR position is called variance. Watch the data during a test drive. As the EGR opens, the voltage increases because of the difference in desired and EGR position voltages. There is a variance. Small variances indicate a slight problem. Large variance, a major problem. A good EGR valve will have almost no variance. Let's watch the rest of the test drive. The variance increases, the variance decreases. Since the variance catches up, we know that the EGR is sticking. It may be lagging behind, but it does catch up. We know it's a minor sticking problem. Note that the EGR position voltage is 2.7 tenths, the desired position is 2.9, and the variance says it's zero. That means the PCM appears to be satisfied with a 2 tenths of a volt difference. The EGR valve lags behind the closing and opening of the EGR valve. We can see this because of the variance changes in the scan data. A minus sign will indicate that the EGR is closing when the variance occurs. To see a complete picture, you, you're going to have to graph the scan data. This test drive has proven that the EGR is moving, but it's sticking slightly. Variance is not available on all scan data on all vehicles. So we're going to use the map to monitor EGR flow. To check the flow, we're going to watch the map voltage as the throttle and the EGR open. Map changes slightly when the throttle is open. See, we barely open the throttle and map moves slightly. The EGR is still closed. You can see we're opening the throttle very, very slowly. EGR is opening. We see the first big change in map as the EGR begins to open. The EGR continues to open. We continue to see map changing as the EGR opens. The changes in map indicate that we have EGR flow. There is a change in EGR opening without a change in map, but don't get excited. Now we see the map catch up with the EGR. This is normal data stream activity. We're seeing the effects of a normal EGR flow. The map is changing just as we expected it to. 
at cruising speeds, we won't see major changes in map voltage. Here we backed off the throttle and watched the EGR as it started to close. The PCM is going to start closing the EGR. Here's an example of a sticking EGR valve. If the map voltage stays high, we know that the EGR is sticking. When the EGR closes, this is what we expect to see in map voltage changes. Here the map voltage reacts normally to the EGR closing during deceleration. Look for excessive EGR flow by watching the map voltage. Here the map shows a huge change. The EGR opened too far, too fast. This has been a problem with older versions of EGR systems, the vacuum operated type. Blocking the EGR passage is an easy way to verify excessive EGR flow. Place tape or other gasket material over both of these large uh, passages. Reinstall the EGR. Road test the vehicle to see if the problem disappears. If it disappears, the problem disappears, replace the EGR. Just the opposite of too much flow is too little flow. 85% EGR position tells us that the EGR is almost wide open. The low map voltage tells us there isn't enough EGR flow. Use the EGR position to find sticking EGRs, key on engine off. Use variance to find sticking EGRs with the engine running. Use map voltage to find low and excessive EGR flow.